faces today I'm gonna to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for a while but honestly I've just been kind of dreading doing it because I felt a little bit overwhelmed I was like I want to do a video where I show my stash of diamond painting wax and putty because I feel like I do have a fairly large collection maybe not as large as other people just lotioning my hands just for you um, maybe it's not as large as other people but definitely I do have more wax than I need so I decided to do a video and um, I'm going to start with Canadian wax because I am Canadian. So the, these are from JNL Crafty Creations or JNL Creations on Etsy. I'll have all the links for everything down below. And this is pumpkin oatmeal chai, carrot cake, salted caramel, and blueberry fritter. These smell wonderful. I really like this wax. Um, if you don't mind not having the clicking sound, like this wax works great, it just doesn't have the clicking sound. So I, to back up, I store all of my wax, well most of it in this, and it's becoming pretty full. So I figure like as I'm showing you waxes and putting them away, I can organize them nicely in my Harbor Freight container. So there's how I'm gonna organize those ones. The next group of wax I'm going to show you is from a company called Chouette Seer. So if you order from Oraloa, you may get a, like a gift which comes with a cover minder and a, a thing of wax from this company, Chouette Seer. They're based in Quebec. And this is Melon, melon du Watermelon. And this is so cute. You may have seen this before, but look at this. This looks like a watermelon and it even has the green on the bottom. Oh, and it smells, it smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Seriously, so good. And this is banana, monkey fart, watermelon. This one is Smurf Sweat. What does Smurf Sweat smell like? Like sweat. No, just kidding. It smells like candy. And this one is fairly old. Like you can see it's starting to whiten, but I still keep it. Don't judge me. This, I don't know. It doesn't have a sticker on it anymore. And then this one is strawberry. Oh, strawberries, their wax smells great and you do get the clicking sound. So if that interests you, I'll have the link in the description box below. And I figured I would do this video because um, when I order wax, I'm like, I'm not sure what type of container it comes in, how big the containers are. And uh, like basically if you're getting your money's worth. So I decided to do this video and you can see like in in comparison to my hands, my baby little boy hands apparently because I have short fingers. My sister used to say I have little boy hands. How do I type? I don't know. Um, anyway, so you can see them in comparison to my hand and kind of see like a 3D instead of just a static image. The next stuff that I have here is from Crystal Trace. So they have super sticky um, gem tuck. Yeah, gem tuck and gem wax. So this is one of them. This one is bubble gum. We have, this one is super sticky coconut cream. And this is just regular bubble gum. And then their, their putty used to come in this. So this is, they call their putty gem tack. It used to come in containers like this, but now they, I believe they come in containers like this. So this is Avo Bath, which is a lush dupe. Sweet pink sugar, cashmere cream, and bubble gum. Let me smell bubble gum. I love just like smelling things. Okay, I'm a weirdo, but this, I've, I have way more stuff from them. I just don't know where, where it is. Like, literally. I have, I just placed an order with them. Oh, wait. Haha, uh -huh, I know where it is. Okay, so I was like, I just placed an order with them. Where is my stuff? So I also got caramel popcorn, Japanese cherry blossom, um, blue agave. Belgian chocolate, smells so good. And then I also got, geez, okay, I, I placed a big order with them. Uh, Snow Fairy, which is a lush dupe. 
Dolce Caramello, Belgian Chocolate, and Gem Tack or Monkey Farts. So there's a mixture of the Gem Tacks in there. And then I also got Sugared Lemon and Floating Island, which is also a Lush Dupe. And when I say Lush Dupe, it's just a scent that Lush, like the, the Bath & Body brand, carries. And this is Saltwater Mermaid. And I think that's it for those. Yes, that is it for those. Next we have Dream Wax. And I know, I know that I have more from Dream Wax, but I literally, like I have a bar from Dream Wax, but I don't know where it went. But Dream Wax is also a Canadian company that sells on Etsy. So we have lemongrass scent and we have chocolate fudgesicle. They smell really good. And I'm going to have to give them another try because... Literally, I couldn't get it to work in the single placer. Like, I couldn't load the single placer properly. I don't know what my problem is. So I do need to give it another try. Ugh. This lemongrass one smells so good, guys. Just so you know. Okay, what else? What other Canadian? Oh, um, Creations by Mel or Mel Creations or something like that on Etsy. You can buy a six-pack. I think it's a six pack of wax and I have given away some of them. So I only have four left, but I have coconut, straw, raspberry, framboy is raspberry, phrase I believe is strawberry and lime. So they're a French company. So they have their things in French, obviously, but these smell really good too. Wow. Okay. So that's from Mel's Creations. Ooh, guys, my my organization skills are coming in handy right now. Coming in handy. Okay, so now we'll move on to the last Canadian company, and I probably have the most stuff from them. And I always buy stuff from this company to send to my friends because it works really good, and everyone really likes it. This stuff is all from Sensible by Design. Um, Sensible by Design is based in Ontario, and she does drops. I don't know how often she does drops, but there's there's usually always something in stock. And I've I've bought in bars from her before. Like she had these really big bars that I sent to Crazy Diamonds, aka Mariah, and it was licorice because Mariah is crazy, crazy diamonds, but she's crazy and loves black licorice. Ew, ew. So I have purchased like a bunch of different stuff from her. I have more than this, but again, I don't know where it is. Because I've, I've ordered a ton of stuff from her. Uh, I send it out to my friends in packages and things like that. So I, I just don't know where everything is. Um, this is a grapefruit paw. So you can see it's a little cat paw. And then we have pink lemonade. And this is her putty. So the putty looks like this. And you basically just load your pen with it, like how you normally would with putty. Nanaimo bar, if you're Canadian, you know what a Nanaimo bar is, and you know that they are delicious. We have sandal season, red velvet cake, and this is, red velvet cake is her wax. We have bubble gum, blueberry cheesecake, coffee, lemon. This lemon used to have a green leaf on it. It was so cute. And then these are her travel tins. This is Tulip Festival. I bought this to send to someone, but it comes in a little tin like this. It's not lip gloss or lip balm. It's diamond painting wax. And this is Lavender and Honey. Honeysuckle Pear Putty. Strawberry Shortcake. Lemon Blueberry. Clean Laundry. This one smells so good if you like clean scents. Clean Laundry is the way to go. Cotton Candy. Apple. Blueberry. Peach Blossom. Yes. Cream and Sugar. Oh my goodness. Cream and Sugar smells so good. Havana Heat. Cotton Candy. Red Velvet Cake Bubble Gum. I think I've already said those ones. So... Those are all my orders from Sensible by Designs. I highly, highly recommend Crystal Trays and Sensible by Designs. They're two of my favorite Canadian wax companies. Like Sensible Designs, they're, they're not too expensive either for a thing of putty, for like a little container of putty. You're looking at paying around uh, $4.50. 
and for the wax I believe the wax is 350 or something like that for a container like this size of wax so it's not too expensive and you get to try a bunch of different scents because they come to you in smaller containers like this and there's people who have like tons of this stuff like if you join their Facebook group she does do pri prizes and giveaways and stuff so I would recommend joining the sensible by design Facebook group if you want to um, and you can see other people's collections like they're it's ridiculous some people's collections it's just it's amazing okay so we'll move on to US I guess US based wax makers this is from diamond art supply uh, this is actually per sherry at purple door crafts gave this to me and it has a little bear inside of it and I haven't tried it yet because I don't want to ruin the bear but isn't that adorable so this is the only wax I have from Diamond Art Supply. I've never ordered from them because shipping to Canada is a lot. And like I understand that's actually what they need to charge. But it's just I can't justify it. Oh, that smells so good. This is blueberry pancake. And I just love the little bear inside of it. Like that's so adorable. And then we have my pretty placer wax. So these are pretty placers. They're crayons. So they're wax crayons and you use them for picking up drills and like you use them as a placer. This one is blue Gatorade and this one is cashmere sheets. I don't know which cashmere sheets smell like because I'm too poor to afford them but that is cashmere sheets and this is uh, blue Gatorade. I really like, I like using them for special drill diamond paintings, not so much for regular diamond painting, but there are some people who swear by this. And then this is their new, I forget what they're called, gem wax or something like that. Um, Laura from Anxiety Art Adventures, who also owns Wee Wax, sent this to me so I could try it out. I have not tried it out yet. I have smelled it though, and it smells delicious. Um, it comes to you in this little cute container. So yeah, check out Pretty Placers on Etsy. I'll have the link in the description box below. That can go in my wax container. And then we have stuff from Randa. So Randa's putty is pretty popular. If you didn't know, Randa was actually on one of my lives. So it comes to you in this, this type of packaging. And then what you do is you pull it out. I have not tried her putty yet, but you pull it out and then this is how you load it. Her wax is, the, her putty is quite hard. Um, you can maybe warm it up in your armpit or something like that. But this one is Ice Lemon Blossom. And this one is Cherry Fruit Punch. And this is her wax. It is grapefruit and pear. Smells really good. I've tried it before, it works great. Uh, again, you can find Randa on Etsy. And then we have, this is Not Your Mama's Mud. I've been gifted some of this from uh, some friends. So I've never ordered directly from Not Your Mama's Mud, but I'm excited like that I have some because lots of people always talk about it. So this is Coco Natty and it comes in like, what I think like Not Your Mama's Mud reminds me of pink wax that's been like melted or something like that. And then... This is Cotton Candy Craze, and it has a little ice cream. I thought that was really cute. And then this one is Cotton Candy Craze again, and it has a little ice cream, so that's really cute. And then we have Wee Wax. So here's my collection of Wee Wax, and sorry, um, if you live in Canada or internationally, she doesn't actually ship. Internationally, she only stays within the US, but because I'm friends with Laura, aka Anxiety Art Adventures, she sent me some Wee Wax. Um, I feel very special and I know it's a privilege to receive Wee Wax because only her certain tier of patrons who live internationally get it, as well as her friends. So um, she has halted making Wee Wax, which is kind of sad because I love how they smell. But who knows if she'll start up again in the future. This was the first Wee Wax that I've ever tried before. This is Jeremy's Honeysuckle Breeze. This was named after Jeremy, aka JTMJ Crafts, who's also a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer. So they're friends, so she named that after him. This is Pool Party. It does smell like a pool party. And this is Wee Wax 2.0, I believe. 
So this is 1.0 and this is 2.0 and I believe these, I don't know if they're 3.0 or they're 2.0, but these are her newer waxes. This is called Mistletoe Magic. It was for Christmas or December. And then this is Peppermint Snow, which is also for the winter season. So these are really great and they come, like they come in these huge big um, container, metal containers. So you get a lot and I believe they're around $10 American. 10 to 15 ish I don't I'm not really sure but I'll leave a link in her Etsy to her Etsy below I'm not sure if she's going to continue making them but I'll link them anyway last but not least we have a oh I have this I don't know where this is from I have this wax that Sherry from Purple Door Crafts gave me it literally has a like a I don't know if that's I think it's wax it's a wax coffee bean in it it doesn't really smell anymore. I don't know where this is from, but I don't know. It smells It smells okay. I haven't tried it because I'm so weird. When things come with like cool embeds, embedded things in them or cool designs, I never want to try them because I'm like, I don't want to ruin it. But next we have patty wax. And I have a lot of patty wax. Um, thank you to Naomi because Naomi is basically who got me a bunch of patty wax so this is my patty wax collection these are my super sticky so super sticky always comes in a tin like this I believe so these are my super stickies super stickies don't smell like anything but they are super sticky like it's it's recommended to use in your single placer not in a multi placer I have tried it in a multi placer but I do prefer it for my single placer so these are my super stickies and then these are my bars, so Queen of the Nile. And these these smell so good. Blood Orange, Indian Chai Tea, Nag Shampa. Uh, this is Granny's Apple Pie, Berry Tangerine. Here's some samples from when I ordered from them. It's orange Sherbert, Blackened Amethyst. So you get, when you order from Patty Wax, I don't know if they do it on every order, but you do get these little samples. And so you can try out different waxes. And they're really cute too. This is Aloha, I believe. Vanilla, straight up vanilla. Smells so freaking good. And then, wait, there's more. These are all, some of those are from uh, Naomi. I think the majority of them are from Naomi. But Naomi sent me her Patty Wax collection. And like literally when I'm bored, I will take out this box and I'll smell all of them. Is that weird? Is that weird? Don't judge me. But let's go over this. This is pumpkin crunch cake, pear berry, bird of paradise, cranberry citrus, unicorn forest. That one smells so good. Let me just put these back because I won't be able to get them back in again if I try. Um, then we have Pink Sands, Apricot, 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 Chamomile, eh. Orange Vanilla Cafe, smells so good, Vanilla Espresso, Granny's Apple Pie again, Naomi, like, I, I honestly, like, she was like, I don't even use them, they're just sitting around collecting dust, and I'm like, I'll take them, but also, like, I haven't really been using them. I I take out a bar every now and then, and then I use that for a little bit. Um, but, like, I, I just love having this. Like, this makes me so happy. Sugar cookie. Sex on the beach. Ooh. Saturday morning cartoons. Fuzzy navel. <laughs> I like that name. Black Cherry Fizz, Vanilla Berry, Cinnamon Chai, and Grape Nehi, which I believe, I believe, like, when I first got this and I unboxed it on my channel, everyone's like, that's a drink, but I, I don't think Canada, or at least my city, doesn't have Grape, grape Nehi, so that was kind of neat to, like, find out that, hey, that's actually, like, a drink that people, that's actually a drink that people drink. I don't, I don't know how to talk. That's my collection of wax that I've collected thus far in my diamond painting career, I guess you could say. I am missing some, but basically the main places that I order wax from is Sensible by Design and Crystal Trays. 
And then also I really love paddy wax, but shipping to Canada is very, very expensive. I know that's what they have to charge, but it is very expensive. But I love, I love paddy wax, even if I don't use it as often. I love having it. I love smelling it. I like looking at the bars and feeling rich. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah. I'm going to try and link all the shops down below. If I missed one, make sure you comment and let me know and I'll try and find the link. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite types of scents are and what your favorite type of wax or what fa your favorite wax company is. Um, I'd love to know. I really love dessert scents, fruity scents and beverage scents. I do not like floral scents. Those are like a big no for me. And um, and like musky, like manly scents. I'm not a big fan of those. That's all I have for you guys today. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on an almost daily basis and I'd love to have you. I'm all about diamond painting. So if you like diamond painting, subscribe. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye.